Sorry, I'm going to go full autism on this, I swear. <laughs> just, but if a shot is just... Uh, okay, so if a shot is just a character in frame, and it's like a close-up to a medium shot, and here they are, and these are the... And, and we usually see a shot reverse shot from this, right? There'd be like you talking to somebody, and this is after like... Both characters have been moved to their marks in the scene. They've sat down, they've stood up, they've taken their poses, they've done whatever they've done, and the camera can rest these. Now, these do have dynamic offsets, so that way that the camera heights can be bumped up or down based on things like uh, where the player's eyes are going to be. Because, say, if you have like a player that's a different race versus another race, it could be higher or lower. So, even in a statically composed shot, there are dynamic offsets that are happening. Now, we know all the character heights before the game ships. That's fine. That's no problem. But if you have a shot where a character is, say, let's say it's a long shot, a tracking shot, and we're going to have a uh, character run from left to right, and, you know, it's battle going on, things are exploding, duh, 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 duh. and if you have this character or any other character yell a line of dialogue when uh, this character is running, now imagine, like, you say, like, I don't know, let's call him... Uh, let, let's 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 call our character Jordy Foot. I don't know why, but that's what we're calling. So Jordy Foot here is in the middle of a battle and is going to run on a tracking shot from right to, to from left to right, and we're going to cut over here at some point to the next shot. Um, now, if this is just a static shot, we can have you know Commander uh, Brigenstein, whatever, off to the side shouting Jordy foot you know like as the character's running the length of the line of the dialogue can correspond to how long the character can run and to the length of the uh, the ratcheting up intention maybe we're ratcheting up intention before the end of the shot we're going to see them get exploded or something at some point. now 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 when you add uh uh yaw animation or uh you know tracking uh, data to the camera. Now the camera is no longer just a static shot. Now the camera needs to move from point A to B, where it will end up. Now this is hard timed, most of the time. So if we do this to the time to the dialogue of English, then we can say Jordy Foot, and we we know that Foot and t will land on. You know, 16 seconds versus 17 seconds. So that way we can make sure that the explosion that happens... Da, 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 like, he, he, we, can, we can time it out. Because when you're dealing with a, uh, a, a non-static camera, this becomes a challenge with Loke. Because now if Jordi Foot in German becomes uh, Jordi uh, Futzenstein... Uh, uh, <laughs> der... I, my German is like from like high school, so this is this is awful and atrocious. I I am fully aware. Der Grammar Bein. Maybe that's how the name translates out into German when you're doing low. Okay, that's great. Well, now when you were expecting Jordy Foot line to hit on 16 or 17, now the camera has to like pan like finish panning over, and then sit and wait on the end of the shot to hear the rest of the grammar shine. The, the, to hear the rest of the Jordy Foot, uh, Jordy Futchenstein de Grammeston. Like, or the only other option is that if you don't do this, if you don't do conditional timing outs in your tracks, then you have it where it's going to cut off the word. So you have to make a choice of whether we're going, the, the shot timing has to matter, so we time out the word or not. Like, um, and the only other thing after this is if you have a line like this, if you, have a, if you have a situation like this, there is a more expensive lever you can pull, which is, uh, which is you know, uh, where they restrict the timing of, of the localized languages. So then instead of, so then it becomes an outward feed back to the, uh, the local company to say, hey, when you get to this line of uh, Jordy foot, when you translate it, can, we need you to keep the timing of this line specifically as close as we can to the 16 to 17 mark. And they'll translate it according to that. They might lose something in the translation, but that's also, or they might, you know, this is why you also have really talented teams of localizers to be able to, like, find shorter, better ways of saying them something. But, like, sorry, like, that, like when you're talking about like like uh, things that are like dynamically created and trying to fit it in with load that was like right where my mind went and just like uh oh, was such a problem most of the time
Anyway, that's my rant over, <laughs> I guess. That's all I got. <laughs>